Okay, you guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. I do hope you are all doing well. Um, yeah, so if you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. This is a Virgo channel for Virgos only, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, so keep in mind, some of the messages may or may not resonate, Virgo. Take a fits, leave the rest. Okay. And please do share my channel with others who you think might enjoy these messages or derive some type of guidance. Um, yeah, so love messages here. We're going, we're going to do a Celtic cross spread, okay, to see what the energies are um, for the rest of November. I feel like I'm forgetting something. What am I forgetting? Um, did I say personal reading links are in the description box below? Did I say please subscribe? Click that notification bell. If you guys are on your phone and you tick the notification bell, make sure you go into your settings, whether you have Android or um, Apple iOS, and enable notifications for YouTube as well, or else you won't know when I'll go live, unless you have it memorized because you keep coming back and I'm here every night. All right, <laughs> so happy full moon lunar eclipse, okay, November 8th, and it's also election day. All right, enough of this. Like, I'm not a news reporter. Okay, let's get into this. Hey, everybody in the chat. So, recent past, you have the five of pentacles, okay. Present, you have loss, your situation, your blockage is the Queen of Cups, okay? Root of your problem, Seven of Swords. Hmm, that's the root of everybody's problem, isn't it? It's sneaky, deceptive energy. Okay, possibilities, Page of Pentacles. Hmm, where you're headed, the Tower, and I'll pull a clarification card on that. All right, position of how you view yourself. You have the Two of Cups. Oh, external to you. That's going to be interesting. You have a Stalker. Um, other people, your environment, position of your hopes and fears. You have the Nine of Pentacles, okay? And the outcome so far, the Moon and the Fool, okay? Bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Wands, so... Okay, this is structure, this is balance, this is reunion, this is family, celebrations, holidays, weddings, um of sense of feeling welcome. This is the overall energy, community, people surrounding you who care about you, family coming together, um, team spirit, community spirit, teamwork, success. Okay, hmm. I just gave you all the definitions, but let me intuit the message here. Okay. All right, Virgo, it seems like your intuition or someone's intuition is telling them <clears throat> to block and stand their ground as far as a reunion goes or connecting. You know, whenever I look at this, it could be a twin flame 1111. Um, whenever I look at this card with all of the holly and the bow, I always feel like it's a, it's a holiday kind of thing. Um, hmm. You have a decision intuitive decision you need to make or you will be making in November and it's going to require you to stand up and be strong it might be a legal decision as well law it might be a lawful decision it's a cause and effect kind of a situation here um, hmm. there's some kind of getting together uh, opportunity that feels like it wants to happen in November. Wow, these cards are crazy. It's craziness. The chariot in the reverse. Forcefulness. Yeah, I, yeah, I just get this sense of like a tsunami. <laughs> Aggression, coercion. Somebody here who sits in the King of Pentacles in the reverse or the Queen of Swords, or look, here's the Queen of Pentacles also. Maybe a group of people or family. King of Pentacles in the reverse is someone who is like, 
well, think of you on your worst day. <laughs> Jealous and no follow through. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. There's a lot of junk. So I'm just going to, right now, I'm just going to leave that right there. Because I feel like that right here is an entirely, an entire reading in and of itself. Right here. All right. All right. There's a reunion for sure. A decision that needs to, that someone's making here, an intuitive decision, a secretive choice. Um, someone's not taking no for an answer about connecting with you. Um, there's karma, there's consequences to not doing that. Okay. You could be involved with the Taurus. You could be involved with an Aquarius or another Virgo, but there's some type of consequence here for not having some kind of a reunion. I don't know if that's going to be your consequence or somebody else's. Okay, before I even get started, I just want to take a look at what your island time messages are here because, yeah, I don't think I normally do this, but something is telling me, no, we need to take a look at this right now. I don't know. There must be a message in here before we get started in this reading, meaning I don't, I don't think I normally do this with the Celtic, but okay, what's going on? Spirit wants you to know something here, Virgo. Oh, the snake. Wow. Maybe you're another person is a snake. Competition, enemy, cleverness, malicious, looking over your shoulder, and the other woman. Wow. <sighs> okay. And seduction is back. Okay. You've got a seducer. You have a seducer. You have somebody showing up here that uses snake charm, snake charmer. <laughs> Isn't that like, um, yeah, snake charmer. It's not the snake you should be scared of. It's the person controlling the snake, the snake charmer. It's somebody coming in here with very seductive energy, flirting, being attracted to you, wants to hook up. There's, there's definitely... It's either a third party situation or there's someone who's trying to come in and have this reunion and seduce you into connecting with them. Um, the snake doesn't usually represent snake charmer, but that's the message I'm getting. Okay, let's get into this. So the past position, a struggle love, a struggle relationship, some type of a struggle, something happened in the past or the recent past where there was like a change in circumstances in your life or feeling left out in the cold, maybe a financial loss, um, real feeling like the world is against you or another person is against you, a lot of adversity. This in relationship means struggle love to me. One person is dependent or was dependent tremendously on another person. And the other person who they were dependent on was struggling themselves. So there was like... It was like a layer and layer and layer of burden and, pr and problems, okay? But right now, your situation, I'm seeing there's a, there's a loss here. Either you're feeling a loss or another person is. There is a loss. And what's blocking you is the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, okay? So there's an obstacle here in your, in your life currently. And I feel like that obstacle, uh, excuse me, obstacle is connected to, um, compassion. It feels like it's really difficult for you to have compassion for, a situation or another person that maybe it's to, you know connected to this past energy where someone might have put you in a struggle situation or a bad situation it's almost as if you want to feel sorry for someone and have compassion for them but you can't <laughs> you you can't why because somebody was deceptive or cheating or they were you know I know some of you are like I know I'm supposed to forgive this person but I can't and you know what that's okay 
you know, the goal is to get there, but if you can't do it, that's okay right now. I feel like some of you are just kind of like, no, you're not ready for that. You want to hold on to your anger and your resentment because it's fueling your ability to stay detached, perhaps for some, from someone, okay? But it comes from a place of hurt and it comes from a place of fear. Maybe there was someone you were connected to who was kind of a snake charmer and seducing others. Okay, so I hope this isn't going to be the same as yesterday's reading, but we're going to see. I just want to take a look a little bit more at this poverty card here. What's, yeah, something was like a near death a relationship was a struggle and it was like, I don't know if you were trying to end it or somebody else was trying to end it, but it was like so on the brink of death, right? When you get that poverty thing and you're like struggling and there's no food and there's no shelter, it's like, is death knocking on the door of this relationship? It probably has, okay? So much struggle and so much pain. It looks like now you're in bereavement and you're definitely having some, maybe some trauma. You might be experiencing some trauma at this time. Uh, a sense of guilt. Maybe you're with someone who tried to make you feel guilty or make you regret ending a relationship or something like that. Okay. That, oh, I just heard um, somebody might have told you that they cheated on you because you treated them badly, which is bullshit. That's a cop out. Okay. But they might have told you that or they went with someone else you know the snake is the other woman the other man seduction third party interfer interference they may have tried to make you feel like it was your your fault like or it might have been a, another woman who said to you well if you treated him better um and if you were loving him and caring for him he wouldn't have cheated <laughs> anybody who says that needs a pitchfork in the eye I'm going to tell you right now because that's a load of crap because people who do that, people who cheat, make the decision to cheat all on their own and they may justify their decision by placing the blame elsewhere, but no, that's their fault. So you might have experienced that from someone in the past, okay, here with the Seven of Swords. Now, Virgo. I understand why the block is for you to nurture. It's difficult to love yourself in this time. You feel wounded um, because I feel like you felt you were being faithful and you felt like you were being loyal and you felt like you were being loving and you felt like you were being mature, you know? Um, and for some of you, the real block is maybe you that fell, fell away from you and some of you it's hard to love yourselves right now. It's hard to get back to that place. Okay, but I feel like that's a block and blocks can be busted down, right? Um, blocks can be removed. So yeah, you, you're definitely having a hard time. Uh, somebody is having a hard time focusing on the positive when all they can see is this loss. Okay, um, this is your energy right now and it doesn't mean it's going to last forever. Okay. And, but I also want to tell you something, you, you have the page of pentacles in the position of your possibilities. So I feel like even though you're going through this, maybe emotionally because of what someone did, these are two cup cards here. So I feel like maybe it's really affecting your emotions more than anything else, but that page of pentacles up there in the possibilities. That's the part of you with all that yellow there, that positive energy, okay? Um, taking matters into your own hands, having solid beginnings, setting goals, developing plans, laying the foundation, taking advantage of opportunities, jumping into consistency and having excellent prospects. So like all is not lost here, Virgo. I mean, that is your card. That's the Virgo card. Maybe your emotions are cut and you feel kind of like, oh, down, depressed, saddened, abandoned, whatever. 
all that stuff, heartbroken, all that stuff that's going, I don't mean to say whatever in the sense of it's not important, but you know, all that, all that stuff in the, the, the emotional pool of sadness, you still have like this promise of hope and you, so, so it all is not lost. Okay. So that's good. Okay. Because it kind of balances itself out right? The seven of swords sitting here at the bottom of this reading is basically telling me that this is what's driving the reading. This is the root of the problem. Lies and deception or somebody making a break for it or being avoidant in a relationship. Um, and this would be the other person, um, underhanded type of behavior, someone being, um, dangerous in, engaging in dangerous, impulsive, risky behavior, um, an enemy masquerading as a friend spying. Okay. Tough, tough energy. So where you're headed is the tower. There's a tower moment. <laughs> um, this is a shock. This is a shock. Just remember that word, sudden upheaval and shock. This is like a lightning bolt coming out of nowhere. Um, Something major is going to happen and you are either going to be the cause of it or you're going to be on the receiving end of it. But just don't be afraid of the tower um, because the tower will strike things that are sticking out that need to be struck. Right. And there's something here that's happening in November for you that needs attention. All right. Let me just see. Some of you might just be busting somebody's ego. Okay. Or an ego in general gets busted because look at that crown. That's the crown chakra. All right. Crown, crown chakra is supposed to be a wonderful, beautiful thing, but when it's all up in the ego, not so much. Um, real quick, I just want to say some signs here because I noticed I forgot to do that. So Taurus, Scorpio, Libra, Scorpio, Virgo, Aquarius, uh, Pisces, Gemini, um, Mars energy, Virgo, <laughs> Pisces again. Well, okay. Seems like we have some repeaters, a lot of Virgo in this reading. Show me the tower. Okay. Wow. So what's, I was going to ask basically what this tower moment is. This is you shutting the old, shutting and letting go of people, places, possessions, or issues. Yep. I feel like overall what's going on here is you're coming out of this. Definitely. Uh, whatever the situation is. Now this is for you, I know a lot of you, um, something's going to happen. And I feel like this is going to be sometime around the end of November where some type of, of an event is going to happen. That's going to come down from the skies. Basically, this is like, um, this is like, um, I don't know if it's mother nature, <laughs> some kind of an event or a situation universe comes down, God comes down and moves you. Yeah. That's really what the energy of that feels more like to me, right? Some of you might make a decision to create a tower moment, but major kind of cards are more like fate. So in a, it's a, it's a faded event that comes in kind of wakes you up a little bit here and makes you realize uh, that you need to shed this old dried up alligator skin that you've been lugging around with you for so long. <laughs> Let go of certain people, beliefs, possessions, or just issues in general. Okay. So be prepared sometime at the end of November. Um, it could be, oh, that's a sign. Yeah, I was just going to say, it could be around um, the 20, the week of the 21st. Okay, so in the position of how you're viewing yourself, you have the Two of Cups. So this is kind of like Virgo. I feel like you're going to be looking at yourself and realizing in November, you know, I'm a catch. I'm a good partner. I'm a contender. There's nothing wrong with me if you're feeling that way about yourself, right? Um, I'm in harmony. I'm in balance. I'm attractive. I have, you know, I can make good connections with people. Um, 
engagement is something you might say to yourself that you want marriage is something i'm a good compa i'm good i'm a i make a good compatible partner with people i'm all about unity and love okay and you'll also view, <clears throat> excuse me view yourself as someone who's very understanding and you understand others as well as yourself i like how you're looking at yourself okay i see you looking at yourself and saying you know i'm really great at romance <laughs> I'm good at love relationships. Somebody might have made you feel like you weren't or convinced you that you weren't. No, you know, I don't feel like you're fully convinced here, Virgo. <laughs> I don't. I, I, I feel like whatever somebody's been telling you, I don't know if you've believed it for a while. It's interesting because as I'm looking at this reading, <clears throat> I want to get the overall aura of the colors. And when I squint my eyes, it's noticeably gray and a dark green. And the gray kind of reminds me of like, there's neutrality here with a little bit of earth element in it. You know, I feel like there's a balance, you know, because I feel like whatever somebody might have tried to convince you of, um, it's going to affect you not as, on, the depth of the level of someone convincing you that you weren't any good or worthy actually is not going to have that much of an effect on you. Hmm. Or maybe it didn't in the past. Maybe it was kind of like this person's a door salesman and they're full of shit and I don't believe them. I know who I am. Some of you are even going to turn around and say either to yourselves or to another person, Hey babe, it's not me, it's you. <laughs> Deflecting the, br the blame, okay? Some of you, you know, the root of the problem, honey, is you, the Seven of Swords. You know, you were the escape artist. Uh, you were the one who was running away. You were the one who was stealing and betraying and being dishonest, okay? Um, you are the one who got caught. You are the one who needs to make amends to me. You're serving your time. Now, I don't really feel like you guys are going around with, you know, your, your gavel, like a judge, um, and dictating. I don't really feel, because I don't feel like that's your nature. Um, I feel like if you're convinced of something within yourself, you don't feel the need to convince anybody else. You just act it out, your beliefs. So... I don't see you blaming or anything like that. I just see you taking accountability and responsibility for whatever in your life. And if anything, with this situation, it's more like taking accountability and responsibility for allowing this to happen. That's the energy I feel like you're embodying. They did it, yeah, but I allowed it to happen. So I'm responsible for this. That part only, only. Because I let you. Yeah, that's kind of what that feels like to me. Because I see here, maybe that's the tower moment you're going to have. Yeah, interesting. I know. I feel like these readings are going that way. Um, and it's funny how they shift, like the tides. You know, sometimes we just have all these this pink ocean coming in with all this love and butterflies. And then next month, it's like, err. <laughs> It's nothing but uh, a tide of spikes and tidal waves and craziness. Um, so how you're viewing yourself is on point and good. Okay. Some of you are definitely hesitant. You don't want to miss any opportunities for love coming your way. Um, some of you feel like somebody tried to tell you you were wasted. Talent? Potential? Um they didn't want to have children with you or they were, you know, something going on. And um, if this, if me saying this is triggering you, I'm very sorry um, if that's happened to you, but it was bullshit. And so if that helps, you should know that. Or somebody might have said really harsh things to you and just put you in a real struggle situation. Like this person I feel like was very mean. Okay. Very, very mean. And swords or thoughts, there might have been abuse. Um, or things that they said to you that were just so harsh, like telling you you're a waste of time to them, 
um, or that you have been and you were only ever potential and I was never serious, you know, and uh, I missed all my opportunities because I wasted my time with you. I mean, if somebody told you that and you're still there, man, get out your kid gloves. You should have knocked this person right out and then left. All right, let me see. So what's external is this person and um, hello. A player. This, whoever this person is, and I don't know if you're connecting with them right now, or you're connecting with this, or you have, or maybe you will be currently, or coming up, but Page of Swords in reverse is a player. There's just no two ways around that. Um, this person comes in very weak. They bring bad news. This person's like a bad news bear. Um, they got legal problems, tax issues, but stalking, okay? Gossiping, curious, wanting to know what's going on, wanting to know what you're doing, watching you, spying on you. They have nothing else to do. They have no plans. They're lacking ideas and they're hiding behind their spying. They're very defensive, so you can't tell that they're doing it. Um, they're doing this to poke you. Do you remember the pokes they used to have on Facebook? Oh, this is a poke. <laughs> They're going to poke. They poke, poke, poke. Oh, look. Knight of Cups. Wow. Okay. Now the story. Plot twist. This person wants to come in and make that romantic proposal to you. <gasps> Holy shit. I can't believe how this story changed. I mean, what the hell? Oh, I don't, all right, I am going to go to the extended for this because like, what the heck, um, Gemini, Scorpio energy, again, it seems like, a, oh, actually Gemini is only here once, so that's a shocker, Gemini, somebody must be giving Gemini their, uh, some truth bombs or something, Gemini's like shaking in the corner like I can't go back to Virgo, Virgo's going to kill me, let me see here. Oh my goodness, Knight of Wands. <laughs> this person, such a player. <laughs> such a player. Oh my gosh. They're going to hit you on both sides. Bam. Side to side with the love bombing and the, uh, the lust. Lust bombing. Watch out for lust bombing. Yeah. Okay. Still a player. Still a player. They're going to say, I'm not a player. I just crush a lot. No, still a player. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look at that. You have three knights. This person sits here with three knights. They are impatient. They are lazy. Lack of common sense. So probably dumber than a box of hammers. Unstable, unskilled, unreliable, and disloyal MFR. What do they have going for them? They're dreamy, sweet little words and their lustful spirit, but they're a player. <laughs> if it's not that person and, you know, from the past and this relationship is done and you're just healing, somebody else is coming in, same energy. So you need to protect yourself. I don't know if you need to be saging, you need to carry around, you know, wear a rosary. Um, you need to put some, um, what the heck's that called? Why can I, I have like a brain block. I need to like, I don't know stimulate my brain waves or something what is th I can't think of the word you know the the blue eye with the black and the white circle in it you guys know the eye eye of Horus eye of Horus a hamsa something like you guys need some protection whether it's like the snake charmer snake oil salesman somebody coming in with the seduction uh past person new person surrounding you okay so just be wary or where beware beware all right your hopes and fears you have the nine of pentacles so virgo this is all about your independence you're hoping you're going to be able to stand on your own two feet thrive thrive is the word be successful okay you fear you're not going to be able to do that but you know that's a virgo card and i feel like those are just some virgo traits because virgos are just basically warriors um, does it turn into fear sometimes, but, or fear causes the worry? 
I think that that's why Virgos are so successful in life because they actually respect the hustle, you know, and um, Virgo knows that it could just so very easily be wiped right out from under their feet if they don't stay on top of things. So they're very diligent to make sure things are done right and consistently. So your fears are not unfounded here. Um, I feel like that's really your goal and your aim is independence and wealth. And um, you're fine there. You're fine. So the outcome is the moon and the fool. Okay. Walking blind. <laughs> this is what I see. Um, Aquarius energy. Um, I see you feeling your way through things. Huh. Okay. Wow. Oh, I just got a really strong message. Some of you are doing a complete 180. You're using your intuition to guide you. Look at this fool. Not even looking where he or she is going is almost the same as being blindfolded. And the moon, there's not enough light to see anyway. You know, there's not enough light to light the path. So you're walking blindly, but your intuition, like you legit got some Jedi force energy going on here. Um, that's what I feel like you're going to be doing. Look, I mean, let me just date myself here with this is, this is Luke Skywalker. See, he's got his lightsaber there. And that's that little thing that he used to try to hit when he had the blindfold on. Remember yoga was trying to help him. If you don't know what I'm talking about, shame on you. But this is what I feel like that energy is. You are <laughs> trusting your intuition, your instinct, taking risks and letting your intuition drive you. Okay. Following your dreams. I mean, I love that. I love that. I, I, I'm so happy when we're talking about you, Virgo, and not people on the outside or external to you. Because I feel like right now, for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, that does not matter. It just does not matter right now. You know, I don't know why it doesn't matter. Some of you just want to... I don't, some of you just want to be able to trust yourself and not let anyone dictate things to you. Okay, that's an interesting message. Let me see. So... Definitely throwing your cares to the wind, the outcome, going in blind. Now, for some of you, does that mean that if this is a past person coming in to make moves on you again um, because you dropped them? Yeah, it could be. And does it mean you're going to go in blindly? Yeah, it could because you might fall for the, the okie doke. So you need to be a bit careful that someone isn't just coming in here to try to keep you down or betray you. And like I said, I'm going to go into the extended to see what the energies are there. Something here has ended for someone. And this person, are they changing? Are they coming in surrendered? Are they like realizing they need to surrender their player ways, their love bombing and lust bombing ways, and stop being a lazy, apathetic, um, unskilled idiot? Do they need to grow up? Okay. <laughs> More harsh today. Okay. So there is a po there is a possibility. Just be careful of um, weakness and vulnerability. Watch out for self doubt. Your self doubt will poke holes in your defense. Like you're a lawyer, and you're building up your defense, right? Um, and if you have self doubt in yourself, you're just gonna you're just gonna poke holes in your own defense, and then you're gonna be an open target for um, prosecution. So, do you know what, you guys? I have to make a confession. I have to. I have to confess. Never in my life have I watched Judge Judy. Okay, and you know, I gotta tell you, I'm like she is my hero <laughs> right now. I've been watching Judge Judy old episodes from way back in the day up until her most recent ones that chick is on fire like she is my hero judge judy she is tough she is to the point she doesn't want to she doesn't take any shit from anybody 
I mean, I don't think I'd want to be friends with her because I'm afraid I'd get called out all the time for little things. But let me tell you what. So if you hear me talking a lot of like lawyer ease, court ease, it's probably because I've been watching so much of that. <laughs> and also I don't take, I don't like taking shit from people either. Um, call a spade a spade. So yeah, just be careful of lack of confidence at the end. Don't get swayed. Don't get manipulated. Don't stare Medusa in the face or you're going to turn to stone. Okay. Whoever your Medusa is, um, be careful looking, you know, that's I, that snake oil, um, charmer, snake oil, snake charmer, whatever it is, that thing that was in that, um, jungle book. Uh, I see that snake with those swirling eyes that just kind of loops, um, who was that little jungle book boy? I <laughs> forget his name. <laughs> that just kind of loops him into a dizzy or the bear loops him. In the, yeah, just watch out for that. I, I just keep seeing that. Also, somebody has like um, a firebird, like an old school firebird that has some kind of like fire. Uh, remember those old cars? I don't even know if they make them anymore. It has those fire flames on them or something. That just came out of nowhere. Okay, let me get some... These readings have been like crazy fun. Let me get some um, romance angels to see what's going on here for you. Soulmate, stay optimistic about your love life. Okay. This is, I don't know if this is your soulmate. I don't know who your soulmate is. It says, yes, this is your soulmate. Why do the readings have to be so traumatic? Maybe your person's just an a-hole sometimes and says things that they shouldn't and you just need to fight back. Maybe it's just that simple. Maybe you need to call the, the, a person out for um, spending all the money, for not helping you with a loved one's passing or someone who's just being very cold, giving you the cold shoulder or making you sad. Maybe it's just hard for you to feel sorry for this person or to love them right now because you're pissed off, right? It might not be this traumatic and there might be an argument or something that happens in November where, you know what? You need to call somebody out. You need to be defensive. You need to stand up for yourself and remember who the F you are, right? This could be your soulmate. This doesn't mean a relationship's over, but some of you need to actually not be a doormat and you need to stand up for yourself and say, I'm not listening to that from you anymore. You don't have to call people names in, re in return and lower yourself, but you can stand up for yourself and say, I will not tolerate that. I don't like it and do not do it again. You know, some of you, <laughs> instead of letting things build up, and instead of getting yourself like resentful or fearful to stand up and and speak your truth, maybe some of you are people pleasers or maybe some of you, I mean, I know that's not typical for Virgo, but I do talk to a lot of Virgos um, in personal readings. And sometimes some of you, you let your emotions and your compassion and your serving um, get the better of you right? Because you want to help people. Sometimes Virgos have such a desire to help others that they forget that you don't have to be a doormat to do that. Doormats are for the front of the door. They're not for you. Okay. So you go buy yourself a doormat and go stick it at the front of your door on purpose as a symbol to remind yourself, this goes here. I'm not laying down here in front of this door. That's where the doormat goes. And that's not me. Okay, so, but here's the, here's the key, right? If there's something that happened and you're struggling with it and you cut somebody off or whatever, but you don't speak your mind and there isn't a, res um, a, a resolving of the situation or the problem, be careful that you don't get lulled to sleep by someone's romantic or lustful advances in order to avoid talking about the issue or for you to say, Oh, just forget it. Let's just break up and then make up sex kind of thing or whatever. And then, you know, we get together and then we have sex and everything's fine. It doesn't mean that you got to carry on and just deal with issues all the time. Even if you do get back in the sack with someone or you reconnect with this person and you do that, 
just don't forget to talk and speak up for yourself. Okay, yeah, just what I was saying, that passion. Oh, Virgo, there's definitely something happening here in November where I do, like I said in the beginning, I felt like there was going to be some kind of a reunion. Okay, I did. Your intuition, your the secret that you're hiding from everybody, and maybe even this person, I feel like this person doesn't think you have it in you to call them out if they were cheating two queens here um, or two kings whichever um, I feel like you they they feel like you don't have the um, they feel like you might lack self-control but you don't you don't have the aggressiveness to uh, give consequences to this behavior okay yeah and I feel like that's why this person kind of feels like actually I'm probably not going to go into an extended because this is filling it all up I feel like this person just kind of thinks that yeah they, they know what they're doing they know what they're doing and they know that um, this could be the end of it for you and they're gonna come back in and try to just sweeten the pot and make everything just kind of better so you don't have to talk about this they may not want to admit it but they're aware of however they handled something in the past I just feel like they're gonna be mighty surprised you stand up and call somebody out or talk about some stuff that happened here okay so your advice is definitely um, to just know who you are and to remember who you are and don't let ever 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 let anybody tell you who you are ever 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 you define that nobody else and god <laughs> that's it nobody else defines who you are and anything that you don't say people are going to make up stories and make up their mind about you and you know what that's none of your business let them talk let them do whatever they got to do that's their problem it's not your problem okay negative thinking in the reverse good which means you got positive Positive thinking and energy happening here. Be careful if you're good friends, I just heard. Are the people you think are your good friends? Um, they might not really get, have your back, so be careful. Um, they might be interested in your person. Uh, they might be interested in you. They might have bad intention, only because good friends is in the reverse. So there may be somebody who has not so great um, intention for you. Okay, and you've got, huh, you've got a motherly figure around you who is guiding you. Okay, could be a Libra for some, but this is like a motherly figure. It doesn't have to be your mother, but it could be someone, um, maybe this person is also a mother. Um, it could be your mother or it could be a sister, but someone who's a caretaker, someone who's um, guiding you. Um, that person could be passed on and is guiding you up in the heavens. It's now an angel spirit for you. Um, strong message there. Okay. So no contact. Now, I will tell you that came up in the reverse, but now it's in the upright as I flipped it. So some of you might be doing the no contact, contact, no contact, contact thing. A um, little shifty. If it's not you, it could be somebody else, but someone here blocking unblocking blocking unblocking blocking unblocking and the list goes on and on and on and on and like you got to pick a lane if it's you if you don't want to unblock this person unblock if you do want to block this person block them and then leave it alone don't touch it again um if you want to unblock them unblock them and then leave it alone don't touch it again so i know this is specific but some of you are like oh i blocked them and then i unblocked them and then I didn't tell anybody I unblocked them. And then I had, I went and I blocked them again. And <laughs> like, if you could see yourself, stop doing that. <laughs> Just pick a lane and stick with it. I feel like I keep saying that. I know some of you are like, I don't have anybody blocked. Well, it's not, I'm not talking to you. There's somebody, you might not even be in the chat. They might be just listening. Um, outside of the chat head of household take charge of your divine masculine energy you also have a father figure who guides you so a mother figure 
is guiding you and a father figure maybe it's your parents maybe it's um a married couple somewhere around you okay strive for respect dignity and power and there's an influential male supporting you at this time okay that's not necessarily a father figure it could be but they're very influential in a very positive way okay could be your fitness trainer it could be your the person you go and get your coffee from every day is you sit and talk or the bartender okay spiritual principles traditional roles bring structure and help aid you on your path what are your spiritual beliefs will you conform what path are you on to lead you into where you'd like to go check yourself before you wreck yourself Virgo okay and also a mature dynamic fiery male Leo Sagittarius Aries showing up here there's a new passionate start with that person that could be your person it could also be somebody new because it says new a new passionate start so these readings are crazy I don't even know how long it's been because I cannot see my I cannot see my my uh, timer let me get into your Chinese signs <clears throat> okay we have year of the year of the monkey the rabbit the dog the horse the goat it's a whole farm out here monkey again except for monkeys monkeys aren't on farms you're the pig we haven't seen the pig in a while mm, you're the dragon always here one more who's the lucky one and we end with the snake we started pretty much with the snake and now we're ending with the snake okay and I said that in the beginning you could have an attachment to a snake there might be a snake somewhere um how much time oh okay we're at 40 something minutes I think I'm gonna end it there I'm gonna skip the charms and you know um all that stuff all the signs and everything I feel like you guys listen lately and I think who was it that said it in the chat last night was it charity or Brittany somebody said was was it queasy was queasy here I'm not sure um, maybe Steve somebody said that um, Pluto was in retrograde is that what I is that what I read was it was it Mars P P Pluto or so when I know when Pluto, no, it's, I don't think it's Pluto retrograde starts around, doesn't it start in April? And I think it happens every year. And it goes up until, I think like November. Yeah, I think Pluto retrograde is also the story of Hades and Persephone. Is it April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November? So maybe it's in May. It's like a six month period. And that's when Pluto represents, you know, the, the underground kind of energy. And I think that's when, but it's a very aggressive, aggressive underground energy. So it's similar to like a rip tide, a rip current under the sea, under the water. Very forceful, very powerful, but very covert. You can't see it. It's the, it's the unknown hidden movements like an earthquake, you know, under the ground. So that's that Pluto energy, very powerful, but it makes gigantic changes. And when it's retrograde, um, it's all about our relationships. You know, it's, it's not so much about, but in relationship with self, you know, um, I think Pluto retrogrades are tough because they really, really give you huge, awakenings to things they bring massive awakenings um they're all about rebirth death and rebirth and regeneration so if if it's pluto which i think there is that maybe that's not what was mentioned but if it's pluto there's been a lot that's been going on since april uh, and it's coming to a head and um i also think that was it I think it was Pluto. All right. So I'm sure you guys are putting it in the chat, but because you're not in the mind, I can't see you because this is pre-recorded. I'll pop in the chat tonight to see if what it was that you guys said, or was it maybe Mars? I'm sure maybe you're all typing it right now, but I just can't see it. Um, and I don't remember why I brought that up. <laughs> 
maybe I shall just chill out. Oh, another thing. I wanted to ask you guys real quick. So I'm going to end the reading. So if you want to click off, go ahead. But if you're part of my channel, are you guys interested in, because I know I've been like doing some shorts, but I, I meant to ask you, are you guys interested in hearing about other signs? Because I know this is a Virgo channel, but I've been thinking lately if I were to incorporate other signs in the readings, you know, like Virgo with Aries, um, Virgo with Gemini, um, Virgo with Capricorn, Virgo with Pisces, that kind of stuff. Um, I don't want to just do a Pisces reading, but, you know, something along those lines for um, like each month, whatever month we are in, it will be Virgo with the sign of that month. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you're interested in, in, in something like that, you can tell me in the next chat um, or shoot me an email and let me know what your thoughts are about that if you guys would be interested in that. I mean, I don't know. I have to figure out because the energy and time that it's going to take to pump out more videos and I'm so busy with personal readings that we'll have to see how it goes. But yeah, it's just a thought. I like to try to come up with new, fun, exciting ideas so that because I know you guys sometimes get tired of the same messages. So, all right, I'm going to leave that there. I hope you guys got something out of that <laughs> to some degree. I feel like today's energies were, lately it's been all about empowering you. I feel like ever since that um, blood moon reading I did, a lot of you guys have been like slamming the door shut if you haven't already and are really just focusing on bettering self. You have to. You have to. You have no other choice. You have no other choice. Do it, Virgo. Get to it. Hop to it. Get busy with yourself, your badass self. And I will see you guys all back here tomorrow. All right, take care.